Well, in the first place, yeah, just I would like to give you some course about the introduction to human anatomy. This is designed for health science students. So, introduction to human anatomy. This is the lecture outline. It includes definition of anatomy, division, anatomical terminologies, anatomical position, plane and body movement, level of structure organization. So, uh, they just uh, we will uh, discuss to cover all these objectives. Uh, chapter one is about the introduction to human anatomy. As you know, definition of human anatomy. Anatomy is a branch of science that deals uh, with the structure of the human body and the relation of its parts to each other. So uh, anatomy is a branch of science, a branch of medical science, which deals about the structure of human body and the relations of one part of the body to the other. One part of uh, one's body to the other also will lead. Uh, the word anatomy is coming from the Greek word, anatom. Uh, anatomy is consists of two words. The one is ana, the other is tom. Means ana means apart, tom means cutting. This means anatomy is a uh, science which which study about the structure of the human body by a part or by cutting one's structure. Therefore, anatomy means cut apart, divide, dissect, dissect, divide. All are the same. So. Anatomy is a field of science we study about the uh, human structures by dividing, dissecting uh, different parts of the human structures. So, uh, human anatomy was taught in Greek by different types of scholars. The one is uh, Hippocrates, who is regarded as the father of medicine and the founder of the science of anatomy. So, uh, the, the other one is Aristotle. Aristotle was the first person to use the term anatom. So anatom is first coined by the scientist Aristotle. So another scientist is Galen. Galen is a philosopher born on in 130 BC who used dissection of human and animal bodies. So uh, Galen is a scientist who used dissection of human and animal bodies to study the human anatomy so the first person he uh, like animal uh, bodies like uh, goat sheep like that and he dissecting or separating different structures of the animals to study the that structure so they also uh, he studied about the human structures uh, so the other, uh, you know, now we will pass up to the subdivision of anatomy. Generally, anatomy is divided into three. The one is uh, macroscopic anatomy. The other is microscopic. The other is developmental anatomy. Macroscopic uh, macroscopic anatomy is uh, a study which study a uh, field which study about the the gross structure of the human body. That means. Uh, uh, that means a structure that can be studied without using microscope that we can see with naked our naked eye that means we can uh, appreciate it we can inspect we can palpate it by using our hands so this is considered as microscopic anatomy we study about the uh, visible structures of the human body whereas microscopic anatomy is anatomy uh, so uh, the, this uh, study structures that are too small uh, to see by using our eyes. That means structures, uh, ma microscopic anatomy is uh, structures which can be seen with microscope, mm, with microscope, uh, either by electron microscope or light microscope, because of uh, we cannot see by our eyes. This, uh, for instance, uh, uh, this type of structure, for instance, like uh, cells, tissues are, we can see by our eyes. Uh, so we can study it by using microscope. So the study of, we can divide microscopic anatomy into two. The study of cells is known as cytology. And the study of uh, tissues is considered as histology. So cytology, histology is considered under microscopic anatomy.